Hello, this is Short Tina from shortmetina.com doing a follow-up video recap of Twitter, ticker symbol TWTR. Um, so I actually released one of these uh, video recaps on Friday after rumors um, started hitting the airways, uh, CNBC, Twitter, wherever you can find them, news outlets, indicating that there's a potential suitor for Twitter. They threw around some names such as, um, I think at the time it was, God, what, I think it was, and my, my memory is blank right now. Uh, well, I know recently is Disney. Okay, so I think at the time it was Google and uh, Salesforce, and now they threw Disney in the mix. So I like to trade rumors because there's a lot of volatility. You know, there's going to be volume um, running into a stock, especially a stock such as Twitter that's been sort, sort of like beaten down and battered down for, as you can see, the entirety of this this year. So on Friday, and I did a live trade video, so you can go to my YouTube channel and search for that. I, you know, I like my trend line. So I drew a trend line somewhere around here. I think it was, yeah, somewhere around here. Right by this highest level dating back to January of this year. And I said to myself that, you know what? The highest 2110, I'm looking to go long somewhere around there. The stock did dip to I believe around 2110 low 20s I ended up taking a position around 2156 didn't sell on Friday thought that you know the more sort of momentum this rumor picked up you know the more likely uh the stock could appreciate more and also after doing my whole technical analysis chart thing I said to myself that I can see 23 in the works luckily on Monday, uh, you had this sort of news feed on heavy rotation on CNBC. And, um, you know, they kept talking about the buyers, the buyout rumors a lot more. Disney was thrown into the mix and the stock actually went up yesterday to a high of 23.57. And I sold somewhere around there. I thought that that would have been a good uh, area to kind of uh, get out. Because in my opinion, we're now approaching... Um, the top of the risk reward channel. Now, will Twitter go on to make new highs? Will it go on to 24, 25, and 26? I believe the original IPO price, like a lot of people are calling for, potentially. I mean, it's still in the news. I was just watching uh, Jim Cramer's Mad Money, and he's still talking about it. They were still talking about it on um, CNBC earlier today's, you know, Squawk, uh, Squawk Alley or whatever the hell those shows are. I watched them, but I'm not... I'm not too um, fast money. I don't know. Whatever show that they have on CNBC, again, they were talking about the Twitter uh, possible buyout, the rumors. Um, and for me, I think that the uh, the heavy rotation of the news is completely overdone. Um, I'm becoming more and more skeptical because no one has stepped forward indicating that there is actually a bid um on the table and you know maybe that's necessarily uh maybe that's not necessarily form maybe they don't step forward until a bid is actually on the table but i'm pretty sure in the past that i've known of situations where companies will come out and they'll say that x y and z company has made this particular bid so i'm guessing at this point there has been no formal bid um and and i wrote a blog on monday indicating that a rumor is just that a rumor and you know don't sort of lock in those profits until the fat lady sings. And for anyone that um, potentially has weight issues, it's not necessarily to be offensive. I'm just, you know, using a typical everyday expression. So I decided today to actually reverse course because I think we're at the top of our risk reward channel and I went short. My average is uh, 2350, 2360, something like that. And my stop loss would be about a dollar from there, like mid uh, 24, like 2456, 2457. Um, so tomorrow I'm actually looking to see what the stock does. So today's high was 2398. And if it penetrates that, that's fine. If it goes too much over 23.98, then I'm gonna sort of pause and may start to unload some of my shares. Um, but the high of today definitely would be sort of my focal point. Um, definitely um, a good scenario for me would be if this stock opens up lower tomorrow, if it opens up below today's close of 23.72, that would be great. 
Um, so again, short Matina didn't do a typical technical analysis video, just giving you some raw data and numbers. I'm not going through complete levels of support and resistance. Um, and in regards to where I would look to lock in profits, it would be somewhere around here, right before the, um, right before the jump or right after the jump rather. So somewhere around here, I would look to, to lock in profits a little bit above 1950, around the initial breakout area of 21, uh, 2150, 2156, at the point where I went long. I would lock in some profits there, and I would wait for us to actually get back to uh, filling this gap around 18. So short me, Tina, short me, Tina .com. Um currently short Twitter. Uh, with an average of about 23, 50 something. Um, follow me on Twitter, follow me on StopTwits, follow me on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, go visit my website. There's a lot of useful content and information about the uh, stock market. I've been trading for well over a decade and I've learned a ton again. Tina from shortmetina.com.